All right. Let's uh, let's get to work. Just casual, shaven. I can't even see what I'm doing. What is going on, guys? Welcome back. I'm uh, cruising around in the trusty van mobile. Today is December 2nd, I think. It's Saturday, the weather is beautiful. It's like finally dead calm. And No Shave November is over. But you know like when you shave and you shave over the sink and like the hair goes everywhere, all over the counter, down the sink drain and it's like a pain. Well, I'm thinking this is a paramotor channel. I might as well go fly and shave while flying. So I'm basically like in an air bath and the hair will just fly off into the blue yonder. Sod it, van life buddy, not a construction worker. So yeah, um, before we get to flying tonight, you guys might remember uh, a couple weeks back, I got a new FPV quad from the guys at the FPV show. I didn't get it to bind, but I finally bound it. So I'm gonna go take it out and do some flying with it. Here's the first of the van life struggles. Can't really fit in a parallel parking space. Parking in this town's limited. So I gotta park like half a mile away from the coffee shop and just hope it. shave ever. Woo! <laughs> it's good to finally hit some smooth air. Now I know my freaking unicorn mount got a lot of hate in the uh, the van release video but for shaving I feel like this is the best possible camera angle and uh, I'll do my best to not wiggle my face around too much all right so potential challenges for this whole shaving thing what I didn't really account for was how much these helmet straps are blocking my face I might have to take the helmet off to get the job done, which means I think I want to go up really high and just glide for a little while. So I say we climb up to a few thousand feet, see how the air is, and we'll get the show on the road. Woo! It's nice and chilly up here, but it is glassy smooth. Beautiful air. Let's see what we got here. I'm thinking if I just start at a high altitude, I'll start the shave and drift down. We'll see what we gotta do. You know, I might not be able to shave my whole face. I'm, I'm definitely gonna have to finish it on the ground, but we'll see what we can do. If there was ever a place to shave, this would be it. Got the uh, Philips Norelco product placement, uh, Amazon Associates link in the description. If you want a shaver as convenient as this that you can use at 3,000 feet, Check the link in the description now. All right, let's uh, let's get to work. Just casual, shaven. I can't even see what I'm doing. She jammed up yet? I'm thinking I'm gonna have the most ridiculous facial haircut ever at the end of this.
And tonight at 11, man crashes powered paraglider. NTSB report shows that his carburetor got clogged with facial hair. Preliminary reports show he made no effort to recover. Tune in at 11 for the full story. All right, I gotta check with my mirror. I don't even know if I'm doing a good job. <laughs> That's freaking hilarious. Not too bad so far, but I'm rocking the pedo stash. Let's get rid of that. I'm about to look like a little child. <laughs> well, that's freaking beautiful. Check out that sunlight. All right, I think that's all I can get without taking my helmet off. So I have 100% neck beard right now. I think I'm gonna throw down real quick. We'll come in for landing. <laughs> I'll shave that up proper. And then I think we'll come back up and enjoy this fantastic weather. Let's kill the engine. Ah, what a beautiful sight. I love flying, man. It never gets old. So it is actually a serious issue. I don't know if anyone has ever come across this before, but in the winter time, when you're flying in the cold, you kind of build up some phlegm. When you start doing wing overs, you load up the G-force and it freaking, it chokes you. All right, let's do a quick barrel roll shenanigan, and then I'll trim out for the landing. This wing is a damn rocket ship, trimmed out. Yeah! <laughs> You're gonna laugh at me. <laughs> I am a new man! <laughs> Do you see this? I decided I couldn't do it. I'm gonna I'll clean it up down here. I'm gonna have hair all over. <laughs> you know, the nice thing, when I was flying, it just goes right off, probably into my carburetor. I need to go take a sky bath, blow <laughs> all this hair out. Oh! I think my thumb's gonna fall off. It's actually like really, really cold. one thing that I don't really like film and post much of on my channel when it's super dead calm and you can just rip around and there's zero turbulence you just feel like you're Superman it's one of my favorite things to do but I guess I don't post it a lot because it doesn't happen very often and it's hard to talk while you're flying aggressively and low trying to be calculated. Let's do a spiral around Jacqueline. So back here, there's a whole bunch of trees right to my left that are on sort of a hill. If you approach it with enough altitude, you can kind of dive 
down the whole bit of trees without worrying about an engine out. Because right now I'm at idle. You can just dive <laughs> straight down. Oh, it smells like decaying leaves down here. I'm surprised there's still pumpkins out here. No, these are like decaying. Get on, brother. Well, that's a pretty sweet look in the sunset. I might as well head back to the park. Then I'll get some altitude. Probably not do anything too crazy, but we'll come in for a sweet landing. I think this is as high as we're gonna take it. I'll trim out, grab the brakes, kill the throttle, start working the spot for the landing. A little low, but we'll sneak it in. Watch that net. Contour the hill, flatten it out, and flare. <laughs> if the wing hits you, does that mean you landed downwind? Or you just burned in so fast that it didn't stop in time? All right, well, I uh, have this balloon left over from the last video. So, <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed that video, shaving my face. At, uh, at 3,000 feet, so, uh, don't forget to check out the store. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. <laughs> Not much different from my normal voice, though. So.